The West Coast Trail is a well-known hike that people from around the world dream of hiking. Every year, over 7,500 backpackers hike this trail. Because of its popularity and hype, it is difficult to get a permit. Whenever something is this hyped up, I wonder, is it really worth the hype? Spoiler alert, it is. This wild trail runs through some of the most unique and stunning landscape along the west coast of Vancouver Island. The trail passes through the territory of the Hiwayat, Dididat, and Pichidat First Nations. Whether you hope to hike the West Coast Trail or you want to experience it through this video, I am so excited to share with you our incredible experience over the next five days. We decided to hike the trail from south to north and were able to get a ride from my in-laws to the trailhead. We had to attend an orientation at 10 a.m. and then took the 10.30 ferry ride across Gordon River to the trailhead. There is a store here with coffee, snacks, and some toiletries, just so you know. On day one, we planned to hike into Camper Creek, and because of the tides, we decided to stick to the inland route. It's hard to explain how excited I felt in this moment. This is my second time hiking the West Coast Trail, but the first time was my third ever backpacking trip. I couldn't wait to see everything again and to get to share it with my husband, Brian. I'm good. Good. We've made it 10K on the West Coast Trail so far and we've been in the forest the whole time and it's been incredibly beautiful and we're about four kilometers from our first camp so we're doing really well it's like 2 30 or something p.m i'm currently eating my homemade bits and bites it's delicious <laughs> It's our first cable car crossing and the car is on the other side so we have to get it over here. I don't know which one I pull. Oh, this one. Oh, it's really smooth, hey? Yeah, I think it's less smooth when you're in it. Oh yeah. Story checks. <laughs> okay. So we we have to go in this together. <laughs> Okay, let, okay. It, let, it, let rip. it rip. Let it rip. Whoa! <laughs> Thanks for whisking me. I'm not doing anything. No, you whisked it here. <laughs> Good thing you have that clip. <laughs> that would have been the second water bottle down on this trip already. <laughs> the first one happened on the first 30 seconds of the voyage. Lost it on the concrete. Here we are. We reached camp with about an hour of daylight left, so we set up our Durston XMID 2 tent and then did a dip in the ocean. We made a pact to try to swim each day on this trip. Washed in every shade of green and all the colors. Some of Then we made dinner in filtered water from the stream before putting all of our food and everything scented in the provided bear bins. Good morning. Welcome to day two on the West Coast Trail. We had an incredible sleep last night. We got into the tent around 8 p.m. 
both fell asleep till 10 30 and then woke up went to the washroom again closed our vestibules on our tent and then slept straight until seven so i am feeling so energized today yesterday was like a 5 30 a.m start so we just finished breakfast went to the washroom at the outhouses did our teeth and now we're gonna hit the trail clean teeth clean teeth nice our goal for day two was to hike from Camper Creek to Carmana Creek, which meant we had to hike about 16 kilometers today. We had about five kilometers of hiking inland before we hit the beach walking for the first time. I couldn't wait to start whale spotting. Ready? <laughs> oh, this is awesome. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh You're doing God. great. Wow. <laughs> oh, love. I hope you got that. <laughs> I did. Now I'm nervous. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at this skunk cabbage. This is incredible. Yeah. Look at this log you're under. So much is growing, all this light green. We hit the beach in the mist, and as we were hiking along, I just had this feeling that there were mammals swimming near us. We stopped to take a look, and sure enough, we started spotting whales. We think we saw gray whales and orcas here. I was spotting, and Brian was trying to capture the photos. It was so much fun to work together to try to capture these majestic animals. Now. Did, did you see it? No. Have you seen any of these? Any. Now, no, go, 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 go. <gasps> Did you see that no. one? <laughs> After about 30 minutes, we knew we should keep moving, but it was very hard to leave. We hiked along the beach for the rest of the way to Carmana Creek. It was one of my favorite camp spots, and it never seems to be busy. There was no campfire ban, so we were still allowed to have campfires below the high tide line. It was just us and two other tents that night. It was so fun to make some trail friends and we had some really great conversations. It's already day three and we are planning to hike all the way to Susie at Falls Camp, making today our biggest day at around 21 kilometers. But we knew there was a food stop partway through our day at the Nitnat Narrows Ferry Crossing, so that kept us highly motivated. Ryan and I took the side trip to see the Carmana Lighthouse, which was well worth it. Then we headed down to the beach again, making sure the tide was low enough for us to make it on the beach. We spotted sea lions on a haul out rock, which was super cool.
This stretch of the trail was absolutely spectacular. I loved climbing up onto the bluffs and getting these views from above the beach. And you know, I was looking out for whales the whole time. Spectacular. Wow. Look at this view. What type of tree is it? It's a western red cedar. Massive. Like this tree must be ancient. We're now hiking through the Dididat tribe reserve lands and we are going to be inland for the next little section before we reach the Nitnat Narrows. And across those narrows we actually need to get a boat ride. It's phenomenal here. It just feels so special and so rich with life. There's just so much biodiversity, so many plants and animals here. We just feel like we're just having the best time ever, ever. It's just, oh. A few more stunning kilometers and we made it to Susiet Falls, which turned out to be the most busy of all of our camp spots. Morning. Good morning. How was your coffee? Delish. Nice. Beautiful view behind you. Tell me what tea you heard around camp this morning. Someone was having a campfire late into the night and they watched a bear walk down the beach in front of the whole, like in front of the whole <laughs> camp. So that was pretty cool. And while Brian's getting all that information, I wake up slow, have my coffee, read my book, and now I feel alive. Good morning and welcome to day four. We had a much shorter day today, so we luxuriated in a slow morning. I had two coffees. We started hiking at noon and had a goal to make it to Darling Creek Camp, making today a 12 kilometer day. We're the last hikers to leave the campsite today and we noticed that there are bear prints so we're calling out now. Hey, oh. Brian's bringing the car over for us a long one. Wow, and look at the color of that water. Oh. Ready? I'm letting go. <laughs> I could just hang out here all day. I was just thinking that.
so nice. This is Billy Goat here. Billy Goat Creek. Deming. We spent a lot of time on this hike reviewing the park's issued map and tide table to ensure we were always timing our beach hikes safely. For certain spots, the map has markings showing the max height of tide that this section of beach is passable at. We found that those areas are best crossed at as low a tide as possible. This ensures you are never getting too close to impassable and you also get to experience the incredible beauty of the tidal zone which often is rich in tidal pools and abundant with life oh and it also meant i could scan the water for signs of whales often and oh there i've spotted one they were everywhere and it was amazing i was loving every second of this hike at Darling River, we cleared a spot to have our own little protected campsite. I even strung up a line I found on a fishing net that had washed up so that I could hang our clothes. Good morning. It's our last morning. I'm standing where our tent was set up. So we're all packed up, ready to go. This is our earliest morning yet, 5 a.m. wake up. And we have to hike out the last 14K and get to the trailhead in time to catch our shuttle. So we got to stay a bit more focused than the other days. Less photos, less videos we have to take. We're exactly on time. What time is it? Eight o'clock on the dot. Eight o'clock, we said we needed to start by if we were going to make it. So we got better go. Bye, Darling Beach. I saw whale right there this morning. That's where our tent was and we created this little spot yesterday. Okay, here we go. Last hike on the beach, so sad. We took a side trail, quite a short one, down to this sea lion haul out rock. So you can stand here and just watch them doing their thing. It's so cool. out so far has been good. It's the fastest we've done kilometers on the whole hike. It's a pretty cruisy trail. Going up a little hill right now but mostly it's been pretty flat and we're on track to get there with an hour to wait for the shuttle so that's good. Better than cutting it too close. <laughs> Wow, this trail is world class. There is no other hike just like this. With an incredible abundance of wildlife and varied hiking terrain from beach walking on sand to climbing over a hundred ladders, this trail keeps you on your toes. I'm so happy you joined me for this experience by watching through this entire video. Thank you so much for your support. And if you like this video, you could leave me a comment, let me know what you liked and consider subscribing to my channel because that helps me grow. Okay, bye! We did it! We made it to the end! Woo!